Well, as the weather gets colder and colder, some West Texans may not have a home to go to to keep warm. But the Salvation Army in Midland is doing everything they can to make sure they have a place to stay. Jason Freund talked to some people at the shelter. Jason, what did they tell you? Yeah, Crystal, so far Midland Salvation Army has one of the only warming shelters open right now. And after talking to some of the people there, it's quite easy to tell that they are very appreciative of what Salvation Army is doing. Let's check it out. Easy is one of many things the homeless sometimes go without, but the Midland Salvation Army has been providing that and more to all who come in, expanding their shelter during the winter season. But when the weather hits uh, very low or even in the summertime very high, uh, we open up our doors because we want to keep everyone safe. Um, so we start a uh, warming station. Uh, people could come in, get a hot meal, stay off the street. Um, and even if we're above capacity, uh, we got a lot of cots donated uh, so we can make sure that nobody gets turned away. So far, it has helped nearly 100 people find a safe place to stay during the winter. Dominic Singh has been at the Salvation Army Shelter since April of this year and has noticed the increase, but says that all are welcome. Yes, there's, a, there's an increase in people coming in. You know, they have people on the cots. If there's not a bed, there's a cot. There's cots available, and then when the... Uh, other people move on, they move them into the beds, you know, and they take care of them good. The services provided range from showers, free laundry, and sleeping cots. Mike Durham is a veteran who has lived there since March, and he says the Salvation Army also helped mm -hmm. him get his driver's license. Well, we get three meals a day uh, at 6 in the morning, 5 in the afternoon, and also noon for lunch. Uh, they've taken me to the DPS to to get my driver's license. Uh, there's a lot of various and sundry things they do. Some even get job or volunteer opportunities. Now I'm working as a bell ringer at you know, United and Kmart or Walmart and places like that, taking donations during the season. And that's 40 hours a week. All who need help are encouraged to stay at the shelter this winter and all are welcome, even a furry friend. Yeah, the Salvation Army told me that they will be keeping their warming shelter open as long as the weather stays chilly. So it looks like it's going to be open for quite some time. Crystal?